Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the Weekly Contest 280, removing minimum number of magic beans. Um, this one is kind of a, a tricky one. It is a mathematical problem. Um, so if you want some magic beans, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord and chat about this problem. Um, so the key thing to note about this problem and this type of problem is just to be careful, but also to kind of um, you know figure out how to generate a structure from the, the, the input and then how to use that structure um, and figure out the, the invariants and as the invariant changes, um, get other, uh, yeah, uh, figuring out as invariant, uh, or not the, not the invariant changes, but as other things changes, how you could keep the invariant the same because that's the name, that, that's what invariant means. Invariant means something that doesn't change. And here, uh, the first thing that I would do is, so one thing that I'm thinking about uh, uh, during the contest is that I was thinking, okay, can we try every possible number, right? Meaning, can we try four, one, six, and then five, right? Um, so then the first thing I would do is scroll down to n, and I'm like, okay, n is 10 to the fifth. That means that we cannot do this, right? And then the, the second thing that I thought is, okay, if we sort it, can we move from left to right in a, uh, a, a scan line kind of way and update things in a in a smart way, right? Uh, and that's basically the solution to this problem after kind of thinking through it a little bit. The idea is that, um, okay, so let's say, maybe this is, yeah, okay, I think this is good enough. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, right, so let's say we have any number and then we sort it, right? Or any, you know, I'm going to add, uh, maybe, eh, okay, let's just add one more number, right? And then the idea is that, okay, let's say we start at the bar at zero, right? In this case, what does that mean? That means that we have to move, we, that, that we try to get every bag to zero, right? And that means that we just have, well, the, the sum of the array because that is, you remove, um, you know, everything, right? So you have one plus four plus five plus six plus ten, right? So that's the current... Um, if we remove everything, that's the cost, right? Is it the best? Well, that's the best for now. And then the next number you're going to consider is, okay, let's say we move it to one. What does that mean? Well, we will, we move, uh, if we move it to one, that means that every number to the right, because we know that, the, uh, because after we sort it, we know it's an invariant that every number to the right is going to be one or bigger, right? And in that case, that means that if we move, if we went from, zero to one, then the delta is one, right? And what, what does that mean? Um, it also, well, one thing that I want to add is that uh, maybe, okay, let, let's start with this first, right? If the delta is one, what does it mean that the, uh, what does it mean when the delta is one, right? That means that every number, including the number that we're looking at, every number is going to be, um, uh, every number is going to be, uh, how to say this, um, you get one bean back, right? Because now instead of one going to zero, four going to zero, five going to zero, dot, 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 you get one going to one, four going to one, five going to one, six going to one, and 10 going to one. So then now if you look at it, what does the formula look like, right? You have zero, oops, zero plus three plus four plus five plus nine. And of course, you essentially you went from going to zero to going to one. So that means that the delta is one, meaning that every number to the right will have one more. So then now your cost is going to be this, uh, the previous cost plus five because we have five numbers because of the delta is one. Um, so then you may ask yourself, you know, can we go from z one to two? Well, the thing with going to from one to two is that, um, you know, four going to two, five going to two, six going to two, that, 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 that's fine. But if, if that's the case, you could also make it going to four in a very greedy way because you know that, you know, uh, two will never be an optimal answer because you can either go to four or the be better answer is at one, right? So, so four is never, uh, sorry, two is never going to be the good answer because you can go to four and you have to subtract more. So then now this makes it slightly easier as well. Here, the, de the delta is three, but what does that mean? Well, one, we just get the full cost. So now we have to add in one. Uh, four, 
four, uh, we go to four, so this is zero, right? And then five, we go to four, so that means this is one, two, two, and we're still going to four, so this is six, right? So again, that means that all the numbers here on the suffix um, is the four numbers and the delta is three, so this is just previous cos plus uh, three times four, which is 12, right? Um, so it's just this cos and 12. Uh, and then plus one for the, for the number that's more than the left. And then hopefully now you see the pattern a little bit. Be, um, so because everything to the left of the four, because we were considering the, the magic number to be four, um, everything to the left of it, we just get the sum of it, right? So that means that when we remove one, when we pop it off, we can just add the sum. And that's based added to the total because no, because when we go, when we go, continue to go to the right, everything to the left, it's all, it is done, right? We we always going to put all of them in the bag, so we don't have to consider it. So that's basically the idea. Um, as you keep on going, um, and then now when you do it for six, you have one plus four plus, or go, sorry, to five, you have zero plus one plus five, right? And again, this is from delta of one because you're going from four to five, and that's basically the idea. And basically, that's how my code works, right? Um, First, I saw it, we start at zero, and of course, in that case, total is the sum of beans, and that's our current best answer so far. Uh, N is the number of beans. We calculate the delta, like we said, from X and the previous number. Um, I forgot to update the previous number. That's why some of my timing is a little bit slow. Um, again, we subtract the total from this delta uh, and the numbers that are left, kind of what we did here and here. Um, and then now, we get to, um, yeah, now we, we just, to, just to see if this is the best score that we have so far. If it is, we update it. If not, then, we just, you know, then it doesn't get updated. That's what it means. And otherwise, we add the beam, meaning that, okay, for example, once we process one and we go into the next one, we put one or all, all of the bags in the beam, right? Because um, once you go under, you get all the, the, the numbers. So in this case, for example, from going from four to five, you put all four bags in, or to, beans in the bag. So that's what this means. And of course, the current is just updating to the, oops, to the previous, um, you know, so that the next one will be the previous. But I could, that part I could maybe write a little bit cleaner. But yeah, uh, so what's the complexity? Hopefully this is straightforward to see. It, this is going to be sorting, so it's going to be n log n time. Uh, in terms of space, it depends on whether you count the sorting as all of n space or one space. That's up to you to kind of play uh, how, how you want to, that depends on your mental model. So yeah, uh, cool. That's all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. And you could watch me solve it live in the contest next. Okay. I was so worried there would be another wrong answer, to be honest. Uh, but that was a mess. Okay. Two from six. Okay. Mm. I think this is just testing all the numbers or something. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Can I do this in a smart way? Uh, yeah, I mean, first we sort. And then that means that everything's small. And we could try the number. Okay. What does that mean by trying the number? Everything bigger than it will go down to it. So that means that for three, everything's smaller than two. We remove and everything bigger we get, right? So it's just, okay, that's not bad. Um, okay, so then we start at zero, total is zero sum of beans, and that's a possible answer. Um, or, well. And then now for x in beans, uh, let's see. Mm, how did I do it? People already got it, so it can't be that hard, right? So two, two, we just, do. Uh, then we do the number of count that's bigger than two. 
that's like all of them. Yeah, okay. So then now delta is equal to i or x minus current. Okay. And then i means that I means that everyone above that can decrease, right? So that means that, um, yeah, so we subtract that by delta times n minus i. So, yeah. Um, yep, because now everything matches this. And then now what do we do? And then we have to add back the stuff to the left. So the stuff to the left is, I guess just the prefix sum really. So that should, be, no, it's just the last number, right? Because everything before that is done. So yeah, just that one beans of I minus one. Is that always the case? Uh, I think dupes is the only case that's not the case because then when you move then delta is equal to zero then you add in previous one mm -hmm. okay if i is greater than zero and beans of i minus and delta is greater than zero okay well, let's just do if delta is zero, zero. And we continue. But then now we have to add. Hmm. Then I'm undercounting if that's the case, though. I think this is fine, actually. I, don't, I think the delta thing is not a big, or it's not a deal. It's just that with the delta zero, this is awkward in between. And then, so this is min, okay. I don't know if this is it, but this hopefully it's close, four and seven. Well, that's definitely not right. Mm. So the total is all the beans, right? Let's say we move it up to two. Then we want to subtract. Hmm. Yeah, why is that? Hmm. If I do so, and also we have to get negative six twice. Maybe just coincidence. Now. It's twelve, so that's eleven. Twelve plus four is not right. Uh, we did not sort. Yeah, no, we sort it. So we minus four. It was sixteen minus four. Okay, so we do one. What is that right? Um, I mean, actually, we can do something like this afterwards. I think that should be better. Um, but still, the wrong answer. Okay, so. 16 and then after 1, after moving to 1, this should be 12 because then that's 5 plus 4 plus 3. Yeah, so that's wrong. This is this. Oh. But I is zero, right? Oh, I added this back for next time. That's why. Okay. So that's 12, and then now moving to 4. What happens when we to 4? Well, the delta is 3, right? Oh, I didn't update current. I am an idiot. Okay, four and seven, okay. That looks good. I'm already doing that well, so let's YOLO a little bit. Um, 
Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Uh, let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.